all good things must come to an end. Hey everybody, welcome to Castle Hives, Northeast Ohio Beekeeping. So what I'm doing today, now I'm at the farmer's property, the two colonies there. One has real nice activity, the other one just a little bit. So when I swap out what I'm gonna do here today, I can really look at the cluster size. Now what I'm doing, the top feeders that I have on here, those are coming off. I am putting on my Vivaldi board, it's basically you know, you see here, it's like an inner cover with a, a shim, and there's a hole on it. My Hive Alive fondant is going to go right over that hole, and then I'm going to put burlap over top of that, okay? They're also getting entrance reducer. We have temps coming down into the 40s, so I'm going to bump them down to this very small opening. It's just all they're going to get right now. I also have some new... Uh, wax dipped bottom boards that I'm putting on my colonies here. So the ones that I have on here, they're pretty beat up. They're screen bottom boards that are pretty beat up. So I'm gonna swap those out. So a little bit here. So let me get started here real quick. I, I don't really wanna disturb the colonies that much, but unfortunately I have to just with the plans that I have today. So let's throw that there, that there, and get this open. Let me get my smoker lit and jacket on and then let's get in here so let's get it going give them a little bit of smoke let them know i'm coming huh thankfully they took all that syrup now you can see the wind you know so really it's just going to be in here and get out uh, right there, I got my strips. Wow, that box is heavy. We can see a nice, nice cluster of bees right here, so that's good. I, I really like seeing that. This box got a little, little weight on it. Now, my fondant that I have, I'm cutting a hole in the label side. Put that right over that hole there. And then just put that burlap in, in there. And they're getting their cover. All right, so this colony's wrapped up. Now they have their smaller entrance. They have the Vivaldi board. Uh, there's the Hive Alive fondant. We'll see what happens. I got the strips out. So let's move over to the other one and do that one as well. All right, let's see what this one shows us. Oh, man. They took all the feed. I like it. Now, I'll really be able to tell... Oh my gosh, wait, man, look at that, well, look at that there, one of my frame uh, bottom bars fell off, look at this colony, how much is in there, oh, a little bit of weight on there too, oh, Man alive, is that heavy. Now what I'm really hoping that they will do, because <clears throat> we've got a little bit of nice weather here, uh, today and tomorrow is it for the weather. Um, and then it's gonna get cold. So, you know, I've got my entrances reduced down, my Vivaldi on, my fondant, what I'm hoping that they will do now is uh, propolize those boxes shut. Um, some people wouldn't touch them. 
I just had to get this work done. So, but they're pretty much, you know, weight-wise, both of these colonies here have a lot of weight on them. Um, really happy with how both of these look. They took, uh, they took a good amount of feed. Uh, they're pretty solid. Um, so let's get over to the main apiary, switch those ones out. I got something special over there. So um, let's bounce over there real quick. I want to show you something I'm, I'm going to try on uh, my new 10 frame colonies this year. So let's get over there. All right, we are at the main apiary. So I'm gonna continue along. This hive here, I'm just gonna pop those covers, pull my strips real quick, and we're gonna move down the line. I got a surprise to talk about back here. So let me do this real quick. Okay, got my strip pulled. Um, this colony here, there's still a little bit of pro sweet over here. So I'm gonna leave that for right now. Um, not gonna put my uh, fondant on this one just yet. So um, overall, it's pretty much gonna be wrapped up though. So I'll just have to keep an eye on that. But let's move on down here and talk about a surprise of what I'm doing this year. All right, so this year, as you all have already noticed, I'm not wrapping my colonies. Um, but what I am doing is I just bought some of these insulated inner covers. Now, this middle uh, cap there can come off. I can put my fondant right over that, and then my outer cover can slip right on there. What these things also have on them is there's an entrance here. It's a channel that goes straight down. So if I pull this out, let's see here, you will see that there's a channel right there, a groove. So there's a hole there. They will have an upper entrance for the winter time. So let me go ahead and uh, get this one over here started. Um, really curious how these are going to work out for the year. So uh, let's get this going. This colony has taken almost all of that. Let me get my brush over here <clears throat> so I can brush these girls off. Now I will say this, I normally would not mess with my colonies this late in the season just because of the propolis that they have, you know, gluing these boxes shut. But I'm taking advantage of the fact that we have 70 degree weather. I can see bees all in there. Oh, let me get this entrance to the south facing. Okay, now let me try something. Because I have not tested this yet. Yeah, that's going to work. That's going to work. So, let's cut my hole. There we go, right there. So, this colony is going to be wrapped up. See what this one has done with the feed. Wow, that is empty and that is empty. Okay, let's get these strips out. Look at that nice, nice sized colony. Now, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to have to figure out a way that I put some fondant in here. 
Um, these covers here that they have designed, uh, you know, one side is so that they could get to syrup. The other side is so that they can get in here and feed. I'm going to have to come up with a way, maybe I'll put sugar in one, uh, maybe I'll open the other and put fondant in here, but I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with the apamaze yet. So let's just get that closed up and move down the line. All right, let's see what this one has done with the feed. All right, there's still some feed in here, so so we're going to set this over here and look at this. This is what I like to see for a colony. Um, strong. Very, very strong. And there we go. And put some burlap over top of that. Entrance reducer, that's on. All right, so I got my entrance reducer on. Uh, that Vivaldi with the Hive Alive fondant in there. Um, they've got their upper entrance here, you can see. So let me get that squared up because I don't want to disturb that through the winter. That's good. Okay, let's move on down. Let's just keep on moving. So two more to do. Well, that's a wrap right there. Um, I got all the hives prepped really for winter. The only thing that I have to figure out yet is, and this is my first winter with them, is what I'm gonna do with the apamaze. Um, I probably will shift uh, on one side uh, that guard so that they have access to that upper portion, and I'll probably put fondant over there, but they're going to have to get up there and get to it. So if it gets cold, will they die up there? Now I've heard that. So the question is, do I pull those feeders? You know, I can get a silver reflective uh, material, um, cut a hole and use that as an inner cover, put that on. Do I do that? Um, I might end up doing that because I don't like the idea of those feeders being on there and trapping bees. So that will probably be work that I have to do at a later date. Each of the apamaze seem to be good right now weight-wise. Um, there is one that I'm a little concerned with. This one here didn't have as much weight as what I like. Uh, all the other ones are good. I have the fondant on though. So if they need emergency feed, I have that. I have, you know, a case plus some left. So. You know, if I need, I can get feed on these colonies. Um, but that's, you know, so far, you know, we're almost about at the end. I've got entrance reducers on. Um, it's about a wrap for the season. So uh, appreciate everybody watching. Um, stay tuned, though, because there's more to come at what's going on here. So exciting stuff next season. Uh, so you all take care. I appreciate you watching. And until the next time, everybody.